I want to be places where I'm celebrated uh, and not just tolerated or, or, or just, um, you know, kind of dealt with in a way that doesn't make me feel respected. Um, and there were times throughout this process when I was in Brooklyn where I felt very disrespected and my talent, uh, I work extremely hard at what I do. No one ever talks about my work ethic, though. Everyone talks about what I'm doing off the floor. So um, I just want to change that narrative and write my own story and just continue to prepare in the gym. And now that I'm in Dallas, just focus on what I can control. Like, I wish them well. I left them in fourth place. I did what I was supposed to do. I took care of my teammates. Was uh, incred incredibly selfless in my approach to leading. Um, and I just want to do all the right things for myself, not to um, appease anybody that had something negative to say about me or they judge me. You know, this basketball game, um, just it's fun. And I want to keep it that way. I want to stay competitive and just work hard. JJ Redick back here with us live from New York. Stephen A, I want to start with you. Should Kyrie feel disrespected by Brooklyn? Well, he can feel that way if he wants to. It's a free country. Um, what I would tell you is this. <clears throat> Kyrie Irving is absolutely amazing. He's an amazing basketball player, a sensational talent, but he's also amazing for maybe one of the dumbest quotes I have ever heard in my life. What? This man, I watched his press conference yesterday. I want to read to you what they got on Twitter that he said. Now, remember, first of all, y'all just saw what he just said. I did my job. And then he said, we're in fourth place. Really? That, that, that fourth, fourth place. That's what he said. This is, this is his word. I did not make this up. And you see, I got a problem because there's a lot of people that I butt heads with. And by the way, it ain't Jay Williams. Jay Williams and I are going to go back and forth, but that's my brother. It's all good. I'm talking about what he said. I did my job. I was selfless. Really? We were in fourth place. You know, I left the team in good hands, and then I made sure to get a hold of this quote. When they asked him about Kevin Durant, he said, there's water under the bridge now. I wish them well. I left them in fourth place. I did what I was supposed to do. Took care of my teammates. Was incredibly selfless. Do you think we are all, do you think we are all on drugs? Uh, do we all need to be drug tested? Is this man the only lucid dude on the planet? What am I missing? One, one playoff series in three and a half years and stood before the masters knowing the camera's rolling and said, I did my job. You can't make this up. I guess we all need to be drug tested. He's the one that's lucid. We are the ones that need to be drug tested because we're not seeing something. We're not seeing something. He's a thousand. I wish I could argue with him, but he is a complete disaster. This is a guy who missed a road trip a couple years ago because he didn't want to go to Paul in Detroit and Utah for a birthday party. This is a guy who did not get vaccinated, hurt his ball club, then did get vaccinated and was allowed to play. This is a guy who, after 46-point blowout to the Celtics, leaves Durant and the rest of the team hanging. And nobody wants to hear from Irving. There is not a net fan in New York, the few that they are, who cares about Kyrie Irving. This is a goodbye and good riddance. He killed Cleveland. He killed the Celtics. He killed the Nets. He should just pipe down and go out there and guys on a new team and see if him and Doncic can figure out how to work it, uh, how to work together and maybe win a couple of playoff series as Stevie said he won one with the Nets in a three or four year period. He is poison and they will learn out in Dallas like they've learned out in Boston like they've learned out in Cleveland and like I guarantee it they've learned out in New York they are so happy every net fan in this city in New York City that he is out of town and when you're that good and he is great when you are that good and the fan base in the tri-state area is having a party because you're the hell out of there that's, that tells you all you need to know about Kyrie Irving. JJ? Look, I, I think both Doggy and, and Stephen A here um, bring up a lot of great points. There's nothing that I disagree with. I don't actually have much to add. I, I, I talked about this the other day. Jacques Vaughn had a quote in his press conference after the trade uh, demand, and he talked about the responsibility that you have 
as a player or a coach in the NBA. That responsibility is to show up every day and do your job and be a great teammate and be reliable. I'm not sure that Kyrie Irving takes that responsibility seriously. I think most players in the NBA take that responsibility very seriously. What's interesting to me, and Stephen A. alluded to this, I think is just the lack of self-awareness. That, that quote is cringy. That press conference is cringy because he's saying everything that he believes, but it's the exact opposite of the reality that we all saw play out over three and a half years in Brooklyn. Uh, so, I, look, there's nothing to disagree with here. I'm disappointed in this tenure. I, I thought for 33 games... We saw the best version of this duo of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving together from when Jacques Vaughn took over to when Kevin Durant got hurt. I thought they were real title contenders. It was finally about basketball. There were no distractions. And then because he can't sign the contract, doesn't want to, you know, uh, Brooklyn doesn't want to give him the full four-year max, he makes the trade demand. uh, and, And now we're back to square one where he's starting over in a new situation. I do personally, I wish him the best in Dallas. I hope it works out. I hope it works out for Luka's sake as well. Uh, This is a big risk for the Dallas Mavericks. J.J. Redick is 100% right. And of course there were times in Brooklyn where Kyrie Irving was disrespected, many of which we've covered on this channel. But we're talking about that press conference. And in that press conference specifically, Kyrie Irving said he was a leader, he was selfless to his teammates, and that he did his job. And it's simply not true. Kyrie Irving looked out for himself most of the time And I'm not saying he was always wrong for doing so, especially when he faced disrespect from Nets owner Joe Tsai. But he was never selfless towards his teammates. He was never a leader. That's just not what Kyrie's role was on the team. He showed up for some games, he missed others, and he played the best basketball he could when he was on the floor. But leaders do more than that. They show up to every game, they let their coaches know where they're at, if they're gonna miss a game, and they prioritize basketball more than Kyrie did. I think that's why people have a problem with Kyrie's press conference. He didn't do any of those things, but he's claiming that he did. He's taking credit for something he didn't do. I'm not saying Kyrie was always wrong, but if you look at Kyrie's tenure in Brooklyn as a whole, it's extremely disappointing and he definitely didn't do his job. JJ Redick is speaking from a player's perspective and is confused why Kyrie Irving would say he did everything he was supposed to do when the results say otherwise. And I agree with them. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about Kyrie Irving's press conference with the Dallas Mavericks. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.